Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to take this opportunity to thank those who support this channel in one way or the other. All our viewers, our subscribers, those who take a moment to share their thoughts with us. I really want to thank you very much. And uh, if you're watching us for the first time, please take a second or two and subscribe to our channel. Then click the notification bell to allow YouTube to notify you whenever we release a video like this. You can also like and share our videos. Now Kenyans are it again, are at it again, and this time they are up in arms with the President William Samoy Ruto. Barely a few days after reckless statements from government ministers and the chief economic advisor of uh, William Ruto, where we were told that uh, we stop questioning why the prices of oil are soaring very high beyond our means. We were told, in fact, to go and dig our holes and find some oil and then D was not mincing his words he said the situation will continue to deteriorate if the people really condemned that uh, the words and, and the statements were a bit reckless but today it is the president who made certain statements that uh, did not go down well with the citizens and this was reported by Kameme TV apparently the Prime Minister of Italy was in the country. He, she paid William Ruta courtesy call. I don't know whether it was in Kenya or there was somewhere, but they had, a, they, they were sharing some moment there. And Kameme says something there that uh, William Ruta said, No tumutunirie malindi ituike yanyu. President Ruto Quira Prime Minister wa Italy, Georgia Meloni. This is a Kikuyu language. And uh, the interpreter was telling me that it simply meant that we can cut off Malindi and give it to you. President Ruto tells the Italian, Italian Prime Minister, Georgia Meloni. Now, I want to be very cautious and careful about such statements because I don't know the context in which they were talking. And we don't want to, you know, turn the channel to be a place where we criticize everything. That would not be the purpose of the channel and we will lose the, the, the value of our channel. But the reason why I wanted to delve in this discussion is because of just two or three reasons. One, even if this was a joke, Many Kenyans feel that uh, William Root was making a joke about our territorial integrity. And the reason why that is coming out very clearly is that we have a president who has proved more than once that he listens to the foreign masters more than he listens to us. If you are following our channel, you will realize that every now and then, we talk about Rooster's dalliance with the international community. And many people who were criticizing us before and thought that we were petty are now, you know, coming to the realization that whatever we are saying is true. Just the other day, Anthony Blinken, it is reported that uh, he really praised Ruto, that Kenya is in the right direction, that Ruto is fighting corruption, that he, he he's really concerned about the security and peace in the country. You all know that we are preparing to take our policemen to Haiti. Not only that, Joe Biden showered Ruto with praises. And I don't need to go there because if you follow our channel, you know what that means. But I will never fail to mention, because there are people who are watching the channel for the first time, that the problems that we have, all the, 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 the economic social, political, and religious predicaments that we go through currently emanated somewhere from the U.S. and the U.K. I sometimes say that it is either Washington, D.C. or California. I don't know whatever it is. Because very briefly, I just want to brush off to, talk, to tell you that the LGBTQ that uh, was passed through the judiciary the push to start consuming GMO, the removal of subsidies, and all the taxes that have now been raised, all these 
are dictates from the West if it is not American farmers who want a uh, um, market for their products in Kenya. It is the IMF that wants us to raise taxes. So this is something that we've talked about before. And that is the reason why we fear. Because we have a government that has got a lot of engagement with the international community. They don't listen to us. When the IMF says raise taxes, they conduct what seems to be a very shambolic public uh, participation. And we say no. But once the IMF has said yes, it has to be so. And that's why when William Ruto makes such statements that we can give you, we can give part of our territorial, you know, geographical land to you, it raises eyebrows. And again, I want to maintain that we don't want to be petty because I don't know the context. Number two, we have a government that has neglected part of uh, our nation. If you talk of Megingo today, I know this is a problem that uh, started during Kibaki era. Then Uhuru came, he didn't do any, any, he didn't do it any better. And that will William Samoy Ruto. The fishermen in Migingo have been neglected and they are performing their duties under the masses of the authority of uh, Ugandan uh, you know, nation. And once, sometimes this, the, 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 this issue came up under Museveni ironically told us that the waters are in Kenya but the land is in Uganda and ever since this has not been resolved and yet we say that we have an auton we have we have an autom autonomous country there was a time in the WikiLeaks it was reported that Kibaki the late uh, former president neglected Migingo intentionally to show Raela that he was the one in power. Those are not my words. This, this one came out very clearly in the WikiLeaks and it was reported in the papers. It could be the reason why William Ruto has continued to neglect us, maybe because people from Nyanza largely did not vote for him. They voted for Raila. And so when we see William Ruto talking about taking part of our country and giving it to Italy, it might not be a joke as such. It could be serious business, and that is why people are really concerned. Look at our borders. Our borders are very porous. We subject our our, our, our military to the cruel hands of the, the, the militia groups and, ter uh, and terrorists. Al-Shabaab continue to, to, to really kill us. If you look at uh, the, the, the even places where bandits are raging, insecurity is something that is really a mess in this country. And that is why whenever you see an engagement between our president and another president, especially of the international community, you fear. You fear. Just the other day, William Ruto proposed to privatize uh, part of Mombasa port. And there was, even as we speak, there is a little of altercation between the executive or, 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 or the, the, the president and the residents of Kenya. This prompted Abdul Swamad, who is the governor of Mombasa, to make noise about it because we have a feeling that uh, Kenyans will not get, you know, value for their for their money if they privatize. Because when they do this, people tend, individual uh, pockets tend to, to to bulge. Yet the residents continue to live and stay in abject poverty. And that's why the engagement, any kind of engagement and such utterances are really taken very seriously because Kenyans understand that our president has got the penchant of pleasing the international community. So if it is the Prime Minister of Italy being told that part of Malindi can go, then you know it's really very serious. For those of me in Malindi, you know, media investors, I think, are, are, are from Malindi. Malindi is a very nocturnal town. People are very busy. At, at night and so I think this is the reason why they were being told we can give you part of Mali of, 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 of Malindi so uh, this is something that um, once bitten to a shy and I think even without uh, blowing it out of proportion these statements are not taken seriously are uh, not taken lightly I mean I don't know what you think but that's my take